First off, yeah, you were the uh, <laughs> you're the only one here. So, what's that like? Um, sorry, it's only my second year doing it, you know. So um, it's not that bad. It's not any different than what I remember, you know. But uh, it would have been cool to have a teammate here. But you know, the things that happened with Matt and uh, he has to get that taken care of. We're gonna need him. So just what you brought up, Matt. What was kind of your reaction when you saw like what the injury that I guess he suffered, and then hearing the news that he was going to be out? Right. You no, know, it was kind of like a, a freak accident. You know, most of those injuries are. You know, he was going strong to the hole. You know, there's some contact, and then, um, he fell into the basketball support, like like mm -hmm. goal support. And uh, uh, he came up, and he stood up, and his thumb was, you know, obviously dislocated. Um, we didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was, but you know, it ended up being, you know, he had to have surgery, you know, so he's going to get that done today. And, uh, I know that he's going to do what he needs to do to get back, you know, and um, what he does will be ready for him. Is it one of those things where he, like, I would imagine he felt down, but at the same time, maybe even more determined to want to come back right away? Right, for sure, you know, um, he went to the doctor a couple times in the last two days, you know, and uh, he came to practice and, you know, he was going to go, you know, but um, <laughs> the, our, um, our trainers held him back a little bit, you know, because uh, we didn't want him to be any worse than what it was, you know, and, and we didn't want to force anything, you know, because if you mess up your thumbs, you know, you can't really do much without your hands, you know, so um, I think the best bet for him to do is to just, you know, relax and then get the surgery and come back strong. Coach was talking about how uh, Devin has been filling in for him, or is going to be filling in for him. What have you seen from Devin like during practice that, that you feel that he can do it right away if he needs to? Devin's been great. You know, Devin, he, uh, I've, I've been talking to him, you know, and I told him that uh, we're going to need him to play. We're going to need him to play big, and uh, you know, he's accepted that role. And um, we need him to play like a veteran. You know, he's a freshman, and, and we know that, he knows that, you know, but. Uh, you can't be successful playing like freshmen, you know what I mean? And, and, and uh, he's accepted that pretty well, you know, and, and, and he showcased it on the court, you know, and, and that's what we're going to need from him. How, how have practices gone? Because I know I was, the last time we spoke to you was media day, and that was before you guys had your first practice. How would you say things have gone? Things are going very well, you know. Um, things are going pretty smoothly right now. Uh, you know, at first they're a little rough trying to put in some of the offensive sets, you know, and trying to get the the defense down and things like that, you know, but um, since then everything's going very smooth, you know, the guys are picking it up and the guys want to do it, you know, so that's a big plus and uh, we're going to be pretty, uh, pretty su su successful. One, one thing Coach was saying is how like the first like, three or four days of practice, I guess he described it as man just because it was so fast paced compared to what you guys were used to in the past. Just how would you say they've adjusted from, you know, maybe coming out of that and, you know, getting to that point where it's, you're playing at the exact pace you want to be playing at? Right. Um, you know, Coach McCaffrey likes us to run, you know, mm -hmm. but when you think of running, when you're doing it, actually, you think of being almost out of control, you know, like you're mm -hmm. sprinting down the court, and then you're rushing and you want to find a shot, you know, but that's not at all what he's trying to accomplish, you know, and that was kind of hard to comprehend at first, you know, but um, I think we've been getting there pretty well, you know, we, we'll push the ball, you know, we'll try to get a quick score, and if not, you know, work the ball around, you know, and that's what you're supposed to do, you know, and um, I think we, we we fell into it pretty, pretty well lately, and um, uh, if we can continue to make strong steps like that, then you know I think it would be pretty hard to uh, compete with. Is there anybody that you've kind of noticed these last couple of weeks that's really stood out to you, maybe even caught you a little by surprise just based on how well they're performing in practice or just whenever you're doing a team's function? Do you want to sort of? uh, I don't know, it's probably not really a surprise, but uh, Eric May's doing really well. You know, Eric May's playing very well right now. And, um, this style of play fits him great, you know, with his physique and his athleticism and his ability to run, you know, uh, this system fits him perfect, you know, and he's, and he's been excelling at it so well. Um, Nelson, he, uh, he's also been playing well, and, um, you know, him being a freshman, you know, and, and, and having the IQ he has, you know, right now to pick things up so fast, you know, uh, that's more power to him, you know, and I think that's going to be more crucial to him as the time goes on. Is there maybe a little bit more importance placed this year on like those first couple of home games before you go out to that Paradise Jam, especially when you consider a year ago you guys had a couple of games before you went to Kansas City and ended up losing those at home? Right. You know, um, it's never good to lose those games, you know, but 
I don't really feel any pressure about it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You just have to go out and execute, you know? Um, you can't take any game for granted. You know, those games are all like, you know, people see those games as less important games, but they're not any more or less important than the game in the Big Ten tournament, you know what I mean? They're all important to your stack. You know, if you want to be, you know, one of those powerhouse teams, you can't lose those games. And, uh, you know, we, we know that, we understand that, and, um, you know, we're going to come out harder and try to compete a lot better this year. With this being your senior year, does it excite you seeing, like, when you look around here, all different uh, players that are here and whatnot, just seeing how loaded or how stacked the conference is, just you're knowing that pretty much every time you go out there on the floor, it's going to be a battle. Right, yeah. You know, that's great. That's beautiful. You know I mean? That's what basketball is supposed to be about. That's what sports is about, you know? Um, playing the best and, and trying to be the best, you know? And, that's what it's all about, and we're gonna embrace that. You know, you gotta embrace the battle. You can't, you can't shy away from it. You know, if you do, you're gonna get embarrassed, and uh, you know, that's not what we're about. So, um, yeah, the conference is looking real strong this year, and I'm looking forward to getting to it. Have you noticed, I guess, especially since you guys started practice, maybe a little bit more excitement among like the student body and just people across campus that what, whether you're like going to class or you're just going to grab something to eat, people maybe coming up to you going, oh, I can't wait for this season to start. Right, yeah, there's definitely been some excitement, you know, there's like, I'll get random honks, you know, going to, going to class and things like that, you know, and, uh, you know, the, the kids are excited, you know, and, you um, uh, the older folks are excited, you know, and, and they just want to see something new, something exciting in Carver. You know, they know what uh, Coach McCaffrey is trying to bring That's to the mine. program. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> they know Coach McCaffrey is trying to bring to the program, you know, and they're excited to see the kids, you know, get out and run a little bit. And um, I don't blame them, you know, it's going to be fun for us, and we're going to be excited to do it. So uh, hopefully we'll get some of those seats filled up. And just what would it mean to, you know, for you to go out on a note where – Maybe just given the goals, I don't know, like if a Big Ten title will necessarily be there, but just to go out on a better note than what you guys endured last year. Uh, that'd be great for me. You know, uh, my whole goal, you know, is, is, is to leave Iowa, you know, with a positive, you know, imprint, you know, and just kind of be something that propels the guys into the future to be, you know, more successful than what we have been in the past, you know, and, um, you know, that's how you know when you've done something, you know, where you've been is when you go somewhere and you leave it better than what it was, you know, and uh, that's just what you know, my goal is right now and, and hopefully we get that accomplished.